Be sure to visit the Model Rockets 321 Space Shop for logo tees, mugs, and other space-related merchandise. All right, Model Rockets 321 here, back with another video. First of all, shout out to OIEF Eagle. OIEF Eagle, who inspired this video. He asked me, to, could I speak about making decals, making water slide decals? And I said, sure, that's a great idea. So thanks for that, um, OIEF Eagle. And for you guys, before we get started, hit the like button and please subscribe to the channel. Appreciate that so we can keep this going and um, help inspire the next generation of Rocketeers and inspire yourself. So here we go, let's get started. We're gonna talk about decals today, water slide decals. I've made many over the years for a lot of my rockets. I'm gonna have some rockets I gotta pull out too. I have some stuff packed away that I wanna get, get out. So that's what we're gonna do, we're gonna talk about decals. Um, so my beginnings with decals go way back, probably to like model airplanes and stuff like that. Um, I tried building a few of those and I was really, probably too young and you know, you ruin them, they get messed up, the glue and this and that. Wasn't a great builder, of course, you know, when you're really young, um, but they would have all the decals, you know, you have your little, little gauges and your little um, call signals and all the, the fin decals and your tail numbers and stuff for the missiles, all those decals would come with those. So that was my introduction to water slides. I would ruin them a lot of times. I wasn't good at it um, at a young age, but then you get better, of course. But um, so that was kind of like my beginnings with it. Then when I got into rocketry, one of the first, first rockets I had that had water slide decals was the Pulsar. If you've been around for a long time, it's an old Estes kit. It has a white rocket, had little uh, red decals that went around the top of the cone area. Kind of like the decals would go around this part right here, like just the design. Um, so then yeah, I got, got a little better with the decals. And um, that was kind of like my introductions to it. Then years later, I just, you know, once you get into rockets, you, you kind of know it's kind of the norm. But then years later in like the 2000s, I guess that's when I discovered making my own because I was an artist, graphic designer, went to school for art. And that's why this car, this car is going to come into play. We're going to talk about this guy right here. So as an artist, graphic designer, um, I always knew about water slide decals and I knew how to handle graphics and things like that. So I started making my own like these skunk works and stuff like that. Start making those and I was able to do some of them, JPL, Virgin Galactic. So all these ESA, all this stuff, US flags and different little panelings and whatever I would need, I could make on my own, no big deal. But I don't always have to make my own. I like like Tango, he does a good job with decals. For some of the kits, if you wanted to restore like the Starship Vega right there, that's Tango. But if you get from Tango, I'm just gonna say, have some experience, be very careful, take your time because those are very thin. They're clear coated, but they're very thin decals and they are they will rip easy. So just take your time, place in Tango decals. Um, and they're, they're, they're good quality though, and he has a lot of them. So Tango, he's out there and he used Alps printers. We're gonna talk about printers also. Another company that's out there is Sticker Shock right now. They're doing the vinyl ones. I have a couple of his right here. These are my Gemini Titans. They're supposed to restore the Gemini right here, which I've flown like this. I mean, it's it's kind of rugged and raw. I like it though. I like, I'm starting to like this one. Uh, the paint, you know, it's all just older and the decals are kind of cracking off. It has a nice little little vibe to it. Um, so I'm liking that. And here's my, my space shuttle decals, which I'm planning on restoring the shuttle that I have. I have two shuttles. I'm trying to restore um, one of them or whatever. So these are my SD Saturn V decals. They have a good, they have a good quality. Whoever makes theirs, they're top quality. I'll put these just above Tango's. They're a little more forgiving. They're not as they're thin, but they're not as thin as Tango Papa decals. Um, I had some Tango. I thought I took one of them out. Here's a Tango. Well, you can see on there, but I had some leftovers from Tango. Um, let me pull this out of this bag. So yeah, these are the Astron, um, my uh, orbital transport decals for the glider. Just extras. He gives you extras too when you order, so that's kind of that's kind of nice. I like that you get extras because they're thin. But if you mess up, you have another shot to get it right. So those are the Astron decals for the um, orbital transport. Showing Tango. This is Estes, and these are some of the ones I made. Now these, as you can see, these are very old and they're kind of yellowing. I think that's the clear coat. See, you have to clear coat them. So now I'm gonna talk to you right now while I'm talking about that. I'm gonna go into the process. So when you design decals like these ones I made 
I made the ones on here, this top, these rivets and all these little details here. I, I designed those. You design them in Illustrator or any vector-based program. Vector graphics, because if you stretch them out or you do any kind of distortion to them, they will keep their form, they won't get pixelated. So you want vector graphics for your decals. I'm sure Tango, he's using some kind of CAD program or whatever, but these are vector graphics he uses. I use vector for those for the lettering and the little graphic to just make the thigh call in that. Well, the thigh call, I think I, I, I was able to just grab that from the internet and it worked out. Um, it wasn't too wasn't too bad. So you gotta be careful doing that too because things can get distorted and pixelated grabbing stuff off the internet. But vector based graphics, not Photoshop. Um, Photoshop says it's for photos, so try to use a graphics program that is vector based to do your decals. This kit didn't come with many decals. It came with the check pattern, the uh, roll patterns there, and it came with the United States. These are those are vinyl. These are just voice aerospace. These are vinyl, so I can feel them. The thin water slides you don't feel. That's what you want. You want the thin ones you don't feel. But this was passable for me. I'm picky, but I'm not that picky on certain things. I'm like, okay, I can, I can live with that. So, I can live with it. As long as you can live with it, that's what it all boils down to. <laughs> So next up, the SA5, I designed those, and I designed the, the numbers on the fins, because it didn't come with those. Now, I designed them, but I didn't print them, because I was either out of the ink, or something was going on with my printer at the time, which was just last summer, maybe, when I did that rocket. So when you, could, you can make your own graphics, and you can have them printed. I used, I think Tango will print from you, but he's been, like, he hasn't been communicating a lot lately, so I think I end up going to Etsy. There's people on Etsy that will print graphics for you. So you can design anything you need, make sure it fits your rocket, and you can get it printed on Etsy. So keep that in mind if you make your own. Or get somebody, if somebody make them for you, you can send it to Etsy. Just have the right file for them and all that kind of stuff. So that's the other step. But when making your own graphics program, get it in a file and print it out. Now, these are printed on laser jet. I mean, no, not laser. These are printed on an inkjet printer. I did these at home. This is decal white paper, and you can get clear paper. So that's the other thing. You can get clear and white papers. Those are the two uh, that you can buy out there on eBay and wherever. A lot of graphic stores have them online. So that's the other step. Once you get them printed, then you have to clear coat them. This Krylon stuff says non-yellowing. I think this is a long time ago. I believe I used a different type of clear coat, and that's why I think it changed colors on me, which I still like the skunks. I'd use them. But I may not use them because they're on a white paper. I believe. Yeah, they're on white paper, so I would have to cut out all around him unless I use this one. But it's like an off-white now. It's like a yellow. So these probably will just sit around unless I find some rocket and some reason to use them. They're just going to sit around. But that's the history with making them. And when it comes to printing, I use the inkjet. Inkjet, I'm not going to say it's the best. Like I said, for me, I'm not that picky. It's doable. It works. Because you can get, when it comes to printing black with inkjet, especially big blocks of it, it gets weird. It's, it's almost like a reddish color because inkjet printers uses all the colors to make black, I believe. And they give you this red little tint. Though it's not showing in any of these. I've had it happen in, in an older printer. Actually, the printers, I think, have gotten better. These are solid black, so these are passable. But keep that, and it's just something to keep in mind, though, when you're printing black. It's, you know, you may get some funky stuff. And you gotta be careful with the clear coat you use because it could react to the ink, who knows? Just things to keep in mind when doing your own graphics. Um, that's just using an inkjet printer. I've never used a laser jet printer. I heard they're pretty good. I've never done it myself. I think I read something in a forum a while ago that laser jet printers can do, if they can accept this paper. This is a thicker paper and your setting have to be set for gloss, I believe. Or like it's just a thicker type paper. It's like a film anyway, it's not even a paper, it's a film. So you got to keep that in mind. So it takes a little learning, but it's not hard. It's not difficult to do. As long as you scale it to the size and get everything right in the graphics program, when it comes to printing, you should be fine. As long as it fits, print it out, get the clear coat, let it dry. And when you clear coat very thin, if you're going to do two, I was doing like two coats, very thin, two thin coats. And then I was done with it and um, let it dry. Then you're using scissors to cut them out or exacto knife on your little mat, on your work mat, your little cutting board mat, whatever it's called, the heating little little cut mat. You guys know the mat with all the with the measurements and things. So use scissors and tweezers to, you know, when you're placing them, dip them in the water, and you should be good. So that's that.
The last type of printer, not even the last, really the first printer, is the Alps printer. The Alps printer is the real deal. That's what Tango used. It's no joke. I had one years ago. I never got it to work. This printer runs on the cartridges, the ink cartridges, CMYK is a full color um, palette or spectrum that you use to make the colors. It's, it's pretty cool. Cyan, magenta, yellow, and black, all those go in the printer. They look like cassette tapes. <laughs> it's on a ribbon. They all go in there. These printers, I don't believe, are being made anymore. I think they're done. And the cartridges are hard to get, I, I think. You can check me on that, but I think, I was speaking to Tango, and I looked some stuff up. They're not being made, and they're hard to get. Unless somebody else picked it up and going to make them again. I just don't know anything that much more about Alps. I never got it to work. I had the whole setup. It was just a driver issue and with my computer at the time. This was years ago, probably 2010 or 20, 2009. It was just an issue for me to get the thing going. I could never get it going. So the inkjet seemed to just work. It worked out for me and I was cool with the quality. So there's no issue um, with using the inkjet over the Alps. But like I said, the Alps is the one though. The Alps is the one. It's the one that Tango used um, to do all his decals and they are, they're, they're fantastic, man. They're they're sharp they are professional um this is another tango example um really solid so i could see some, sometimes i could see the streaks where the printer was going back and forth but still a great um great printer and great decals from tango and um so that's an alps printer if you want the guys want to check that out look into those you may be able to find them around sometimes you're good with computers you can get the drivers me personally, I hate that kind of stuff. <laughs> my drone right now is dead because of a driver issue. It, was, it would link up with my phone and I could fly, but I went to re fly it recently and it was just an issue. The app wouldn't open, it wouldn't recognize it. I hate that type of stuff. I'm a, I have a pet peeve and I hate kind of this new generation of everything gets old quick. Like you gotta buy, almost gotta buy a new one or some driver update. It's just the way it is. I just, I like to buy things once and I like things to work. Like if I buy, that I want that to work forever until I decide to get a new one. Now they make stuff where that's another 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 discussion. Now you gotta get it. You get where I'm going. But back to the decals. Um, this car, this was I was in design school, and I had to do a a logo or rebranding a product or company. Um, so I chose Radio Shack. Uh, I remember growing up going to Radio Shack. You could really get stuff from there, like real radio stuff. The radio, radio store was cool. Little electronic parts, little diodes or capacitors, all that stuff. Radio Shack, old school days. So it was one where I lived at, and it came when I had got this assignment. I was like, hey, I'm going to redesign Radio Shack's logo as a rebranding with a whole branding book and just showing them how their logo is going to be used just in, as a presentation piece. So along with the whole rebrand, I decided to do this NASCAR. This is just going above and beyond. I bought a car. It's actually who Kyle Petty. <laughs> alternate paint scheme or whoever the car was at the time i just took the car and i masked off the hood and i just redid the whole i redid the hood i redid the trunk and i redid the side panel right there in the back on the spoiler it says radio shack and on the other side um yeah just fully did it fully rebranding knocked it out the park because i think i won um best uh project or whatever for this right here um and there's a book to go with this. I couldn't find it at the time. I think it's packed away in my portfolio. But this is an example of water slide decals again. They just lay so flat. They're just the best. <laughs> They're the best. And there's some great vinyl ones. We're going to talk about vinyl also. But this was just showing you guys an example of water slide decals. I just masked off the sections where I was going to put it. I printed it on clear paper, clear water slide decal paper, and, um, and it worked out. So that's that. I'll move this car out of the way now because we're talking. This is Rocket Talk. This is Rocket Talk. But before I get to that, I want to show you guys another example of water slide. This is on laser jet. See, there's different types of papers, many things to check out. So this is laser jet water slide decal paper. I bought laser jet, but it worked in my inkjet printer. <laughs> it worked. I got it to work. Um, unless, because once in a while I would go to Kinko's and have them print stuff for me. I would, I can't remember. I could have taken this to Kinko's actually and did it myself. So I want to confuse you guys. This is laser jet. Stick it to whatever type of paper it is. So this is actually a painting I made. It's a stencil cut, stencil cut painting. I have the original, but I turned these into little water slide decal stickers or water slide, you know, decals because I was using it for something else at the time. So this is just another example of um, the quality you can get 
And this is really a good one. It's already clear coated. I can see where I went over it with, I believe I was using my old floor polish. I went over this with floor polish. So just another technique, another technique. So experiment around before you make any. Um, and you can do a lot of things with it. Like I showed this the other day. I did the flags, did the numbers on the fins for this rocket. Um, the thiacol, little VA up there, the PSC. So there's another little US marking there, roll patterns. So you can do many things with what you're on, making your own decals. And um, cause they lay flat. They're just, they're the best for it. They're the best. Vinyl is cool also. Like I'm still finding out more about it. I haven't, like these are raised. Like I said, you can feel those. Typically you want those to lay flat, but I, like I said, I could live with it. I accepted it, I could live with it. And I use vinyl stripping right here. This is a thin vinyl, or that marking right there, it goes around. Actually, this could have came with it. Those two could have came with it. And I think I did this one up here, because this kit came very minimal. It was missing some stuff. I added a lot of this, and I added a lot of weight. And this rocket need to be checked for stability. I gotta do a swing test, and I got some stuff to do. I wanna fly this again, but it's just, if you saw videos, check some videos go a while ago from the Saturn One SA5. I had trouble with this rocket, <laughs> I had trouble with it. So, but here, these are vinyl from Sticker Shock. Um, doing a good job. I mean, I think he has a lot of decals available. Um, this is the Titan, Jiminy Titan decals. Whenever I'm ready to restore that one. If I restore it, man, I'm really enjoying this one. I actually glued down the um, raceways. I glued the raceways down, they used to stick up, but I flew it and it flies, it's a great flyer, man. All the vintage rockets, they fly, they fly great. So anything else I wanted to cover with decals, you can design your own, you can print your own, you can design them or have them printed. You can buy decals. So there's no reason why you guys shouldn't be doing this. If you want, I don't, you know, if you can, if you have what you need, you have what you need. You don't have to go and do this. Um, it's not necessary, but just another step to it. If you're scratch building something and you want to do your own, you can. But if it's available and I'm scratch building, I'll buy them. I wouldn't, I wouldn't do this if I didn't have to, but these are my Saturn V decals. So, and the Saturn V is coming along nice. I'm going to be flying that at some point. I don't know when, but I'm going to definitely fly it. So it's a Saturn one. Like I said, these are top, top quality from SDs. Whoever they use, that's why I need to get the print mine whenever I need some, because they are cool. Like they're individuals, whereas Tango, you have to cut them out yourself, like cut them all separately. They're not spaced out. Like if I dip this in there, this will be one big decal, both of these. So that's the, that's the difference. As with my own, one big decal, you have to cut them out, which is no problem. Whereas the Saturn V, that USA, these are all separate pieces. So that's the deal with that. And here's another product, this micro scale um, liquid decal film. It says restore old decals, make custom decals, and it's ultra thin film. So you can, you can coat them with this. I think I've used it once, coating it. It just takes a little while because it's in a small little bottle and you use a sponge, sponge brush and you kind of, you know, you kind of waste some. Um, I use it mainly for small little, if I have to retouch a little area out, just brush some of this on. Um, I've used it to remove, maybe it's the other stuff I use. They have two, like two or three different types of um, micro scale stuff like this. There's one you can just take off old decals. Like if I wanted to remove those, you can use this. It smells like vinegar. <laughs> I really wonder what it is. It smells just like vinegar though. Strong smell too, hit your nose, so be careful with that. But yeah, so that's the talk on decals, water slide decals, you can do many things. It's another one of those things where an imagination and the design, if you can get some stuff designed, or if you design yourself, you can make some great, great stuff. But um, that is the talk today. Subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, check the links. Hope you like my commercial. Grab a t-shirt, Model Rocks 321 t-shirt with the logo. Actually, I thought I had a, yeah, there it is. I had my little water slide, Model Rocks 321 decal right there. It's probably hard to see, but support the channel any way you can. Got Instagram over there, it's doing pretty good. Keep this community going. Like, share, and subscribe, appreciate you guys. And we are out, see you on another video. Be sure to visit the Model Rockets 321 Space Shop for logo tees, mugs, and other space-related merchandise.